this is Caroline from So Can She. In this video chat today, I would like to share with you 10 fun projects that you can make from free sewing tutorials that will make fabulous holiday gifts. I know this is that time of year where we still have some time to sew for our friends and our loved ones. And we're looking for those fast and easy projects so we can have time to sew something for everyone. So I just wanted to share with you 10 of my newest ideas that came out this year. I'm sure if you know me, you know that I have written hundreds of free sewing tutorials. And these are just 10 that came out this year that I think would make fabulous gifts and really didn't take that long to make. So let me show them to you. First of all, this is called the Q Corners pouch, and this is just a little cosmetic bag, and it's called Q Corners because I figured out a way to make the zipper extend, and then it folds down and snaps, and you see that this bag really can hold a lot. So it's a cute little boxy cosmetic bag that could be made in other colors for a guy and just give him like a little tool pouch. Here we have a beautiful little crossbody bag. This bag I am not giving away. I actually use this and my daughters take it from me anytime they can. And the cool thing about this is it's got three little compartments here. It's actually like two little bags that are sewn together. And then in the middle, there's this cushioned compartment that actually is really great for glasses or sunglasses. And you see here, instead of making a strap, I bought an inexpensive chain on Amazon, which you don't have to do because I also have a bunch of strap tutorials. So if you want to make your own strap, you can do that too. Now, if you are a machine embroiderer, you might like to make this little glasses or sunglass case. This is entirely in the hoop. And this is a project that I designed for Hatch Embroidery. And this project is available free on their website. And I'm going to provide a link for that too. Now we all have kitchens and we all like to have cute things in our kitchens. So another thing that I designed this year were these cute no slip dish towels. Now this is just an inexpensive bar towel that I bought on Amazon. And in the tutorial, I'll sh I share a link for that. And then it has this cute sash on it that you tie around front after you put it over the bar and then it never falls down. And of course, this is a way for you to coordinate with anybody's kitchen, especially if you personalize them with fabric for somebody's favorite team or embroidered them with their name. How fun is that? Now, these little pouches, I was really excited about these little pouches I call my bit of kindness pouches and seriously they are so easy to make. They are stabilized with craft felt that also makes the lining. Just one cute little snap to go on top with a little key ring or D ring. It can go on a little fob if you want to. I love these little things. For your friend who loves to crochet for the fiber lovers, this yarn bag has an eyelet on top where the yarn has come out. And I have even seen some of my readers make this up and post pictures on Instagram where they put several eyelets on top so that they could have several colors of yarn coming out. And you see in here, there's the yarn. And of course, this bag would be awesome if you added extra pockets here on the back or on the front. And I've got a ton of pocket tutorials, so it'll be easy to do. And you see, it's, it's a good size. You know, you can fit a lot of yarn and a project inside. That brings me to the boxy little pouch. This boxy little pouch was a pattern that I made earlier this year at your request. I use mine to keep bobbins in it next to my Juki sewing machine. But this is a great little pouch that makes a cosmetic pouch or a tool pouch and it's got piping on it. And the reason for the piping is because piping hides mistakes. And that's why whenever I have a bag or a pouch that has curves like this, I love to just throw some piping on there because then it's really hard for people to see any wonkiness in your in the shape of your seams. If you would like a video tutorial to show you exactly how to make something this is made for my designer zipper bag video course that is free. And in it, I show you how to do my little method of boxing the top corners of your zippers so that you've got 
a nice neat top corner and this is just a tiny one that I made in the video course I show you how to make one that's a little bit bigger I love the fact that you can make any size you want we're almost getting to this but I know you want me to talk about it here is my fabric and vinyl zipper bag this bag you can see is made with a beautiful Foam interfacing is quilted on the bottom and we have some nice thick straps. Another great thing people like about this bag is that they can take it to their sporting events and concerts and things where your bags have to be checked because everybody can see exactly what's inside your bag. Now I know you've been waiting for me to talk about my Christmas tree here on the wall. This, I just finished this tutorial. This is for a quilted Christmas tree. And you see this? This is 48 inches tall. And this beautiful tree has a puffy star. And of course I share a pattern and template to show you how to make this puffy star. This is made with jelly roll strips. And actually I use fat quarters. I just cut two and a half inch strips. It's even got a little trunk down here. And the thing that makes this able to hold all the ornaments is I put dowels in. There's a dowel here at each level of the tree branches, hold it nice and sturdy so that when you hang ornaments on here, they're not gonna twist and turn and make the branches sag down. It's, it stays the same shape. And of course it has a little hanging loop on the back. This is a great gift for kids who want to have a Christmas tree in their room, but you don't want them or their parents don't want them to have a Christmas tree in their room. And these are buttons all over it where ornaments can be hung. And also this would be a great way to do advent ornaments. You can have 12 special holiday Christmas ornaments and just put them up as the days go by. I hope you have time to finish all the gifts that you wanna make for your loved ones this holiday season. I'm going to put links to all of these free patterns and tutorials in the space below. Please visit my website, socanshe.com. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the new stuff that's coming out. And I hope you have a wonderful season.